Folks, I've seen a lot of questions in the comments section of our videos about my toolbox, exactly how I mounted it on the side of the tractor like this. I keep thinking I'm gonna get around to a video and then I keep putting it off, I forget it. You know how it goes. Um, but today's the day. When I first got my tractor, I saw these two pieces in the bucket. I took one look at them and I said, well, I don't think they belong in the bucket. I don't know where they do belong, but I know they don't belong in the bucket. Four years later, I still don't know where they belong. I could see that this was bent. I could see that it was bent at an angle that looked like the same angle as this piece here. I lined it up and I could see that there was two holes that lined up right here on the rocks. So I says, okay, it must be like that. Now my first question to you would be, did you get this same bracket with your tractor? My second question would be, did your toolbox come mounted? Or did you even get a toolbox? You're supposed to with this tractor. So I kind of put it on like this and I said, well, that's sticking out kind of far in the back. I don't really care for that too much, but I guess that's, you know, how it's intended to go. It sure looks like that's how it's intended to go. This hole did not exist, uh, these two end holes. So I open up the toolbox and I see that there's, again, the middle hole did not exist. I see that there's a hole on each end. So I, I just uh, tried to set the toolbox, uh-oh. What? So I was immediately stumped. Now, I did find out a month or three later that I was missing some brackets here. If you have the backhoe, you're supposed to have another two by two that attaches where these lights are to lift these lights up out of your way a little bit further. Those brackets did not get put on my machine. I wasn't there when it was delivered. Well, I wouldn't have known they were needed if I'd have been there watching them assemble it, but they weren't there. I did think about calling them and, and seeing if I could get those brackets later, but then I got to thinking I didn't really want my lights up any higher. So I knew I had to come up with another solution for the toolbox. Just to clarify, these lights are in the standard position for a 1025R 2014 model without a backhoe. With the backhoe, there's another piece put on the side to lift them up higher. So what am I gonna do with this toolbox? I didn't really like it here anyway. And I had seen someone in Australia had posted a picture on greentractortop.com. By the way, go take a look at greentractortop.com. There are a lot of tractor lovers out there and they have answers to questions I haven't even thought of. It's well worth your time and they're good, good folks too. Anyway, I had seen this guy in Australia that had mounted his toolbox up in here somewhere. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can use this same bracket and somehow make that work. The first thing I noticed was that since the bend was proper to be on the back side of this post, I probably could use that same bend on the front side. Sure enough. But if I tried to use those same holes, that wasn't gonna be very profitable for me there. I was gonna lean it outward and my toolbox was gonna be emptying all the time. So I chose to drill one more hole here. I did not drill any new holes in the ROPS, so you safety sallies don't have to be worried about that but I did drill one more hole in this piece. So those are the two bolts that I put in this bracket, just like that. Okay, that looks okay, but I still have this problem that the two holes that I had for my toolbox are not gonna work because it's in the way. So what I chose to do was to move, see if I could move the toolbox forward. And that's exactly what I was able to do. I drilled one more hole. Honestly, I can't remember if all three of these holes were in the toolbox or not, or if I drilled an extra one. You guys will have to help me on that. In any case, I, I drilled a new hole here. I know I drilled this one, and it matched up with this top hole. So I end up using these back two. I've got a big wide flat washer here. So, bolt, then flat washer. Bolt, then flat washer. And I set it right down there just like that. So the net result is I bored two holes. One in the vertical part of the brace here so that it would be flat. And the other one right here in the flat part of the brace so that I could attach my toolbox. Now all I need to do is tighten it up, and that's the sort of got it. Maybe I should have just left it loose like that. That would have been fun for years, right? 
I like that it's about the same height as the armrest. Sometimes I actually even put my arm out there and lean on it. I like that when I open it, it opens outward so that when I'm standing beside the tractor, I can see into it. If it opened inward, it would be in the way. It'd be hard to see here. And even when I'm sitting on the tractor, I can lean right over and look down in there pretty well. It's out of the way of the levers up here. One thing I notice about these little tractors is there's not a lot of space. Everything has been very tightly compacted uh, to maximize the utility of the tractor. And so it seems like you're always compromising no matter where you put anything. So you do compromise a little bit on this cubby hole here. But I've usually used this cubby hole to hold my hammer. So it's, since the handle kind of sticks out there, it's been a decent place for that. I know other people probably have a different solution, but this is just how it's worked out for me. And now this is a two pound hammer. You need a little bit heavier hammer than a, than a typical carpenter's hammer for a lot of the things you use with your little tractor. So that's, that's where I store that. Okay, this is my attempt to answer the how did I mount my toolbox question. Unfortunately, there's still some mystery, and that is where was it supposed to go, and did I have the proper hardware for the backhoe version of the tractor? I, still confusion, but hopefully this helps a little bit. I wanted to make sure we got to this video before we got rid of this Johnny because I don't know if the next one will be made the same way. We'll be getting new Johnny in just a few days, so stay tuned and uh, be patient. It may be a little bit before we get all the video published from that. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.